Hey guys, I wanted to uh, go through how to calculate uh, a TPM prescription uh, when you're given uh, calorie protein needs um, and uh, you determine the uh, percent of uh, fat that you're going to have, uh, percent of calories coming from fat. Uh, so in the example that we've got here, uh, we've estimated the calorie needs for this particular patient to be 3,000 calories and 150 grams of protein. And we've decided about 30% of the calories are going to come from fat. Uh, because this is a fairly stout, uh, caloric, uh, and high-protein uh, prescription, uh, we're going to need to uh, uh, basically use some fairly uh, high-concentrated uh, substrates. So we're going to use 70% dextrose, which is the D70W that you see here. 15% amino acid solution is what we'll pick. And uh, we're going to use a 20% lipid emulsion as well. And then we will, uh, after we determine the volumes of each of those, we will calculate the infusion rate. So to start off with, uh, if we know that we need 150 grams of protein, and we uh, know that we're using 15% amino acid, if we simply divide that 150 by 0.15 or 15%, I'm going to end up with 1,000 mils. 15% amino acid solution. Okay. Uh, the next step, uh, well, let's, actually, let's go ahead and put that in for our amino acid solution. So we're going to have a thousand mils of our amino acid solution. The next step is to uh, determine how, uh, what the volume of fat is going to be. So we know we've got three thousand calories that we need to provide, and 30% of those calories are going to come from fat. That's what uh, was given. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to multiply it by 0.3, and that is going to give me, 0.3 being 30%, that's going to give me 900 calories coming from fat. And we're going to use a 20% lipid solution. Uh, so if I take the 900 calories and I divide that by 2 calories per mil, which is what you have in 20% lipid solution, it's 2 calories per mil, I'm going to end up with 450 mils of 20% lipid. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put the 450 mils now in my prescription over here for the lipid. So I've got 450 mils of 20% lipid. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is determine the amount of glucose, and this is a little bit more involved. Let's start a new page. Uh, so right off the bat, we need to uh, see how many calories we have left. Well, we know we've got the protein in, and we decided we were going to do 150 grams of protein, right? And there's four grams, or I'm sorry, four calories per gram of protein. So if I multiply that by four, I'm going to end up with 600 calories that are coming from amino acid. Okay, so that's my amino acid calories. And then uh, from the previous page, we know that we've got 900 calories right here coming from fat, so we're going to add those calories, from fat, and that's going to give us a total of 1,500 calories so far. Uh, we know we're having a total of 3,000 calories. If I subtract that 1,500 calories that we've already accounted for, that leaves me with 1,500 calories that will need to come from dextrose. Okay? So if I've got 1,500 calories that need to come from dextrose, and I know that dextrose is 3.4 cals per mil, or cows per gram, however you want to look at it. 
that's going to tell me that I need 441 grams of dextrose. So now I have my grams of dextrose. I need to get it in a volume. So I need to take that 441 grams of dextrose and divide it by 70 percent, 0.7, since we're using 70 percent dextrose. And that's going to give me 630 mils of 70 percent dextrose, or D70. Okay, so we just got our third volume that we needed for our prescription. So we've got 630 mils. Oops, I put that in the wrong place. Let me get it out of there. 630 mils of D70 coming in. So now I've got all my volumes. So if I add all these volumes together, let me get this here. So if I take these three volumes, and I add them together to determine my total volume in the solution, I end up with 2,080 mils. If I take that and divide it by 24 hours, because this is going to run for 24 hours, I end up with 87 mils per hour, which is my rate, 87 mils per hour. Okay, so that's basically our prescription. But again, many places that you go to that you're working in, they may not want the prescriptions written that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just for practice, we're going to change this into terms of final concentration. Uh, of dextrose and final concentration of amino acid. So we have 441 grams of dextrose that we're using and our total volume is 200, I'm sorry, 2,080 mils. Let's just double check that. Yep, 2,080 mils and 400, uh, I'm sorry, uh, our grams of dextrose. Let's get back to our grams of dextrose. Our grams of dextrose is right here. So that was 441 and our volume was uh, 2080. So we know that's right. So if I do this math now, taking the grams of dextrose, dividing it by the volume in the total uh, formula or the total. Uh, uh, admix, we're going to end up with a final concentration of dextrose of 21.2 percent. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the amino acids. You remember our protein that we had was 150 grams of protein, and we're going to divide that by the total volume, which is 2080 mils. So our final concentration of amino acids, when you do the math, is 7.2%. Okay? And the last thing I want us to do is to calculate the non-protein calorie to nitrogen ratio. So first we have to come up with our non-protein calories, which are going to be the calories that are coming from dextrose and the calories that are coming from fat. Well, our calories from dextrose, if we go back to where we were calculating our dextrose, we had a total of 1,500 calories that needed to come from dextrose, right? So if I take those 1,500 calories and I add to that the calories that are coming from fat, which is right up here, We get 1,500 plus the 900, non 
protein calories are going to be 900 calories from fat and then we had 1500 calories from dextrose we add these two guys together we get 2400 non-protein calories Okay. Now if we take that 2400 non-protein calories and we divide it by 150 grams of protein and we take that 150 grams of protein we need to divide it by 6.25 to convert it into grams of nitrogen because again 16 percent of the weight of protein is coming from nitrogen so if you uh, multiply a number by 16 percent it's the same as dividing it by 6.25 so if we do this and uh, work this math out we end up with a calorie to nitrogen or a non-protein calorie to nitrogen ratio of 100 to 1. So uh, that's how you do your uh, TPN calculations uh, to determine a TPN prescription and then to also look at, uh, at final concentration and uh, also determining uh, non-protein calorie to nitrogen ratio. Thanks for watching.